Some say MSE is a foolish kid and some say he's talented and also some say he's an idiot. MSE was 16 years old when he was persecuted and remanded in prison in Singapore. Though he had been facing many obstacles like public criticizing him and government and police suspensing him, he refused to give out his views on religions and politics at the time. At that age, being an active activist for the public is very remarkable. I'm so ashamed. I think I was reading Doraemon when I was 16. Amos has a very strong resilience against all criticisms and persecutions. That's what I like about him. Never give up. What he said on his video was true. It's just that many Singaporeans, even other nationalities, get butt hurt easily. No, butt hurt. For what he said and did on his videos, he just opened the hearts to review many issues of which many people have been keeping to themselves and they have been treating these issues very sensitive. I'm so ashamed. I was playing in Nando when I was that age. Why is there a need to be sensitive for a topic that are true? The truth is the truth. If there's a need to expose, we need to open it. What Amos is said was the truth, and the ways expressed it was very dramatic by using profanity and using offensive behaviors that many couldn't accept. And that's the way we sometimes talk to our best friends or enemies or even use them for quarreling with our loved ones intentionally or accidentally. Sometimes, these are beyond words to express and using vulgarities one way to show an impact of a message. Tell ourselves who do not use vulgarities. You be an image. Using profanity is an alternative way to voice displeasure. To many, showing around bad words is a remarkable way of expressing the extremity of emotions, whether it's frustrations, anger, happiness, or utter surprise. Like what many Christians used to shout, Oh my God! with a form expression too. For example, for praising, if you see your friends get an A for her exam, Oh my god, you got an A! For scolding, if you see your friends lie to you, Oh my god, why did you lie to me? You make a mess. For misfortune, if you see anyone in the accident, Oh my god, call 911. Oh, 999. For pleasure, when you're having sex with your partner, Cause I won't do it in front of the camera right now, Unless there's a beautiful woman like Jennifer Lawrence Hello there. sitting beside me. Otherwise, no chance. So everything is oh my god. I wonder how many times God need to listen hearing those words from so many people every day or every second. Most of the time, we use simple words to express ourselves, but it has to be trendy so we will not bore the audience. That's what Emesis was doing. If oh my god can be used for all this, including sex, anger, and even for cursing, is there any difference if we use bad or dirty words to express ourselves for good and bad things? It's not a big deal. It's just a matter of expression and individual preference. If a Christian are telling us that we should not use profanity, aren't they like the Pharisees or hypocrites in the Bible that whatever they say are blessing and not cursing? Cursing does not mean profanity. Cursing can be as simple as using words like going to hell or going to die and many other simple words. It doesn't mean when someone uses bad or dirty words, it's considered cursing. It must be used bad languages to express his message rather than beating around the bush. Unlike many boot dogs who think their intelligence just to tell us what they meant until we get so confused like what many politicians, except Donald Trump of course, are doing. Using many careful words and many political words to describe a sentence and send the message across. I'm so ashamed, I think my video is too nerd until now I didn't use any bad languages. If using bad languages can pass a message to someone effectively and make him or her remember, it's a good message. It's like what Donald Trump has been doing to send his message across effectively with impact to his audience. I like the way Donald Trump expressing himself. Being direct is a key to impact someone with a message. By the way, I don't care ever see whether he like Donald Trump or not. If he doesn't like Donald Trump, doesn't mean I cannot like Donald Trump too. Well, Jennifer Lawrence doesn't like Donald Trump, but I like her a lot because she's very beautiful. Anyway, no one can replace Donald Trump because he's smart and he has hidden intelligence that no one can analyze his moves. There's more to him than meets the eye, by the way. Take a break, guys. Have a coffee or tea and click on this to continue if you are still interested with my comments.
my god what is now of 